My name is Dylan Wissing. I've been a drummer longer than I can remember, a remote session drummer for close to 20 years, and I've tuned so many traditional drums with my trusty tuning key I can't even begin to tell you. My session work calls for a really wide range of sounds, tones, genres, and I need to get a lot of different sounds very quickly for this work. So when I first learned about WTS and how you can tune a drum from its lowest to its highest point in about 10 seconds with one knob and it's in tune the entire way, uh, that was something I had to check out. When I got my first traditional kit a long time ago as a kid, it took me forever to learn how to tune the things because one, tuning knob would change everything on the top head and change everything on the bottom and you would have to tune both and get them in tune with each other and with the, themselves and it was very confusing. Finally figured it out, but it's still a lot of work. It can be really time consuming, especially, you know, to tune an entire set of drums to some particular pitch range or whatever. When I first got the WTS kit, I really couldn't believe how easy it was to work. A friend of mine loaned me this kit a while back to check out. He was a big believer as well. And to be honest, they kind of sat in a corner for a little while. I wasn't sure what to make of them. I mean, they look different. They tune in a totally different way that I wasn't used to. I didn't know how to change the heads. And I don't know, I just was a little skeptical. I mean, I've seen so many different ways to try to tune a drum over the decades. Uh, some really weird ones with complicated hardware that just looks almost impossible to work on and some, you know, historical oddities that are cool, but it sort of just belong in a museum. But these are just, they're almost so simple that it's kind of like, why didn't anyone think of this before? And I think they sort of did. This is along the lines of an old rope tension drum with the calfskin head, just like every drum was made forever going back thousands of years. But uh, if you've ever tried to use one of those in a session or on a stage on a humid day, for example, you know that's a pretty difficult system to work with. And not everybody has a campfire where you can heat up your drums, get them the right pitch right before, you know, you hit record. So this system where you're just turning the knob and the pitch changes and the heads stay in tune, that's pretty cool. The session that won me over is a band from Canada called Wandering Arrows, and it was a song called You're All That I Need. It's really easy to find on social media and streaming. Um, there's a cool video that goes with it as well. And for the verse, I wanted kind of an 808 bass drum effect, you know, that sort of boom sound. And I was sitting there thinking what it was gonna take with, you know, a drum key and my traditional drums tuning each head perfectly in tune with itself and then perfectly in tune with the bottom head. So just hit a pure tone. And I was thinking, it's gonna take me a half an hour. And then realized that's exactly what WTS does just built into the drum. That's when I became a believer and that's why I'm proud to announce that I'm officially a WTS endorser. Let me show you how I'm using these in my studio. If you're watching this video by now, you probably know that these drums are tuned with a single tuning peg and the heads stay in tune no matter how high or low you take them, which is really cool on a session where, you know, you want to tune to the song really fast. That's a uh, really important feature. The other thing that's really cool is I find you can really easily tune in a set of drums to the room, you know, to whatever the acoustic environment is. And most of us are not in places that are professionally acoustically treated. I know I'm not. So being able to dial in the right pitch on a drum, you know, on the kick drum or something where the low end really speaks and kind of resonates with the room as opposed to where suddenly you get it to a, a pitch level where the sound disappears because you've got standing waves or something interfering with the, uh, the low end. That's pretty huge. And I find that I can tune a set of drums in a live space in about 30 seconds. The question that I had early on with these drums, and I've seen a lot of other people with the same question as well, is what if you want to tune your heads to different pitches? Say, for example, 
your top head lower than the bottom. It's really easy. You just put a two ply head on, which is naturally going to be lower pitched, single ply on the bottom. Voila, there is your tone. And that's exactly what I've done in this kit where I have two ply Aquarian Modern Vintage on top and single ply Classic Clear underneath. Um, the Gold Sparkle kit, it's just texture coated top and bottom. So they're both bringing it the same pitch. If you want to tune, let's say your bottom head incredibly high and your top head incredibly low, this is probably not the system for that. But I'll also say in a real world situation, that doesn't come up very much, at least for me. It's really rare that I want to do something that extreme. And, you know, I have my traditional drums if I need to do that for some random reason. The other thing to note is that these drums work exactly the same way as any other drum in the sense of if you want them to ring less, you put muffling. If you want them to rattle or do something else, you treat them any way you want. You put whatever heads you want to get the sound you want. And then you just spend a lot less time tuning them. I'm going to give you an example of how I work with these in a studio situation. And I'm going to play along to a drum track from Tim Baltes, Timbo from Kino, his slow drum recording, S-L-O-U-X. Great drumless tracks. Highly recommend you look them up. And I'm going to approach the track three different ways. And this is pretty common to the types of work that I'll get in the studio. The first is going to be sort of a modern rock approach where things are sort of medium tuning, uh, wide open, no muffling. And the second way is going to be low, gushy, slow. I'm going to detune the toms and muffle them. And the third way will be kind of cranked up for sort of a vibey hip hop sort of approach. Let's see these drums in action. I'm not getting rid of my traditional drums. As some of my favorite drums ever are still tuned with the drum key and tension rods. And of course there are millions of them out there that are tuned that way. But I do feel like WTS has sort of built a better mousetrap. And this is sort of the way forward, I think. So I now have my third WTS kit. I'm kind of 
thinning my collection of traditional drums and I just don't need that money anymore. These uh, drums are so adaptable and are so easy to just make sound great in so many different ways that I'm good. Really proud to be a WTS endorser. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful.